Hi, welcome. So today we are going to look at that uh, Norwegian MRE that I looked at in my last vlog. And, um, we're going to test that out and also the uh, Pocket Rocket 2 stove by MSR. We're going to look at that one as well. So we've come out to somewhere that's uh, quite close to home for me. And uh, first of all, we're going to need some water. So uh, there's this river next to us here. Oh, which is really nice. It's low at the moment, but obviously we haven't had that much water. So we're uh, going to go down there, dip into the uh, into the river, get some water, filter it, ready for the uh, dry ration, and find somewhere to uh, put the hammock out, and have a sit down and uh, get the food going. So um, let's get cracking. BCB bag. It's threatening rain. It was a few spots of rain on the way up here, so I've got uh, it's a lightweight coat there, waterproof trousers, and a jacket, hat just in case. It's the mini uh, soil filter. Most of you have seen those. Just unscrew the C knot bag. Squeeze the water out of it. Not very fast, I admit. Water's not too bad though. It's not too uh, dirty. So I'm going to filter some water, get it into the mug, and um, get the new uh, pocket rocket stove going. Yeah, the weather's taking a turn. We've got some heavy rain coming in, so I'm going to put the top up ASAP and uh, get in the dry. Shelter from the rain. I, um, I'll just show you. Let's pick you up. These bungee cords work really well. A bit of um, paracord there, just tied off to whatever you can find. And at the back there as well. I've got bungees down the back there, just taking the other side of the top. With this, a nice bit of flexibility. And uh, that should shelter from the uh, the rain. That uh, looks like it's coming in. We're in the DD hammock, I brought it with me, very easy to put up, shoelace knot each side of the tree and um, job done, it's really nice to uh, to sit in, or indeed stay out overnight. So we can get back to uh, filtering some water now and uh, getting back to uh, getting the stove going. This is a new addition, this is the uh, same as the Swiss Army uh, rucksack I've got, it's the M90 rubberized material. Uh, this was advertised as a gas mask bag but I've done a pretty small it's got various attachments around it for fitting on but that will go really well I can stick that on top of the um, my rucksack but I just have assigned it to be the tarp ground sheet and pegs so everything in there is a quick deployment for a shelter so uh, so that's the new addition to the M90 range that I managed to find and I've got a new uh, a new bit of kit coming and that is a it is originally a shoe polishing kit so it's got all the polishes and the little brushes for uh, for boots shoes whatever but that's going to be the uh that's going to be the fire starting kit so that's going to have uh, fat wood in it sparkers and uh, all various different ways of uh, getting a fire going so uh, anyway, that's coming soon i'll show you that when that arrives but for now let's get this water going with the new stove because i am starving hungry Already, there we go, all lit. Right, let's give that a go. Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> That's half a litre in there, pretty good going. Right, okay, here it is. Arctic field ration. Let's open it up. Bit of a uh, bit of tss, and then the air went back in. 
Oh, that smells good. Let me have a look in there. And there's a fill line on the side, like most of them. So, let's just take the boil of water that I've got and roughly guesstimate where that line is on the outside in relation to the inside. Yep, I'd say that was about it, a rough guess. Let's put it back on. Give it a mix. I'm going to give it about 8 minutes, 10 minutes to do its thing, to rehydrate. And um, while that's doing that, I'm going to uh, look at the drinks, get a drink going. So I'm going to pop that down, leave that for a minute. So this is the rubbish bag, and I'll put everything in out of the uh, the kit. I think I'm going to, uh, the novelty value, I'm going to start off with this hot fruit soup. And it says it takes 200 ml of water, which is roughly what I've got left in the pot. I'll open this up. Rear. Mango, fruity, very nice. Hot fruit soup. All right, let's give it a go. In for a penny. Let's grab that. Well, I'm just chewing my way through the soup, literally, with the nice pieces of um, apple, mango in there which have uh, hydrated a bit and they're nice and chewy. This would be an excellent drink if it was cold, if you were uh, found yourself in a cold environment. This would be brilliant to warm up with. Obviously quite uh, high calorie as well, which is what you want. I'll just whip it down so you can sort of see in there what it's like. Bits of fruit in there, but it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice drink this. So it's, um, it's actually better than it sounds. This thing's been going there for, um, 10 minutes so we'll have a look at this yep that's hydrated nicely let's give it a stir first thing I'm seeing in there is actually pieces of lamb so um, let's give it a go hmm that is good Flavour is really nice. I'd say decent chunks of lamb in there as well. On the go lemon drink, which is this one here, the one you saw when I did the review. Uh, we're going to open that up. And I said I was going to add, um, add this to a little. Uh, bottle of water but that is I've measured I've got rings on this one so it's it's in hundreds so it's 300 this needs 300 so I prepared this one and I'm gonna add it everything's mixed very nice time for the cranberry bar it's a fruit bar let's have a look at this I'm going to try a mocha. I'm going to put in the coffee in with this chocolate. That's the coffee. I'm going to be trying that. Put the coffee into there. Nice. A chocolatey hint of coffee on there. And it's actually sweet enough not to add any, uh, you know, you don't need sugar. So maybe that was the idea. Didn't get any sugar in with the kit or any um, any milk with it for the coffee. So I don't know whether they intended to actually add the uh, the coffee to the chocolate. In which case, yeah, good idea. So first use of the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. First impressions, rapid, very good. Heats up um, water really quick. It's light. You see a bit of signs of usage on there with a colour distortion. Um, 
small, compact. So yeah, very pleased with that. That's going to be uh, a good addition to the kit. Packs away in its little box. Or you could actually put it in a bag if you wanted to. But that's it. And uh, slips into your bag. So I've got a bit of juice left. I'll stick that in the rucksack for the walk back. All that's left from that uh, the kit now is the uh, chewing gum. Give my hands a quick wipe. Into the bag. All the rubbish from the kit is in that bag. Leave no trace. Get the air out of that. I'm going to uh, pop that in the uh, rucksack, take it home with me, dispose of it at home. So, right. Suppose I better uh, put the tarp down and uh, fold away the uh, hammock and make our way back. We've had a look at the uh, Norwegian MRE. We've uh, had a go with the Pocket Rocket 2 stove. So I shall keep using that. Letting you know how I uh, how I get on with it in future camps. It's just started raining. So uh, I'm going to head back to the car, get home, do some editing. Hope you enjoyed watching, uh, watching the vlog. I shall catch you again for another adventure. Take care. Just a quick uh, interjection there. These titanium wind uh, shields. Just imagine this, right? You're uh, you're in a stealth camp, and uh, you're, you know there's possibility of a path maybe just you know, a little way off, and you're trying to be quiet. And then you think, what well, I'll do? Uh, I'll roll one of these up once I finish cooking tonight. Put it away, ready for the morning. Listen to this. And I'll do it quiet. Why would it?